radio because you're listening to us right now. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. So, last video I did like this got a lot of good feedback, so I'm gonna stick to it, guys. So today we're going out here, muddy, dingy water. Right, we're gonna see how to catch them. So, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button for me. And 90% of you watching ain't subscribed to the channel, which I don't understand because when you subscribe, you're going to catch more fish. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do more tutorials or basically just going out there fishing and showing you how to catch them. Yay! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Steven Turner here. So, topic of today's video, I want to talk about a heartbeat. What it means when you're fishing. So basically, you know, a lot of, a lot of people say, you know, you, your heartbeat will give the jig action. You don't have to do anything sometimes to make them bite. And that's honestly true. And the older you get, the more you naturally shake. So, to prove a point, you know, normally I say every five seconds bump it up and down, but here in this muddy water, like we got, I want that jig to stay in their face the whole time. I don't want it to be dark now. I want them to find the jig with the scent I got on it, and I want to find it. Like I got a minnow out here. There's fish all up and down this dock, but... I've caught three with the jig and none with the minnow, so I don't know. So let's talk about a heartbeat. Every time your heart beats, your tail on your jig is going to flutter just a little bit. If, if that makes sense, I mean, that's hard to explain. So I'm going to try to catch one and when I get it back in, when I get the jig back in, I'll try to explain what I mean. like literally right now I'm not moving this jig I'm using the trolling motor to move the boat and I am dead sticking it in this water or hopefully a crappie is gonna be right there and my heartbeat is gonna give this jig enough action to catch one now I will bump it every now and then because I mean the bigger fish you will not feel bite most of the time it's gonna be a pressure bite and you're not gonna feel it doing you know well you can feel it with the bumping or whatever but you if you're just sitting here with the doing the heartbeat technique you're not really gonna feel it so I mean it's a slow waiting game these fish do not want to bite they're just down there in that brush pile and if you put that thing in their face long enough they're gonna bite it but if you if you dart it up and down it seems like they're gonna run away or if you hit the dock like I just did <laughs> all right let's wind this one in and I'll show you what I'm talking about so what we got here we got the little stabber 138 132 ounce head loop knot now what's happening is, you see how that tail's just naturally moving like that? Every time my heart beats, it sends that beat through your whole body, you know, like, uh, I, that's the, the best way I can explain it. But if you hold your pole straight up and down, if you were perfectly, I mean, that jig's gonna move just because of the way humans are. That's why, you know, sometimes of the year, a jig like the little stabber has a bunch of action on the tail and you're able to dead stick the jig in the water. So we'll get back down there and see if we can't catch one. Y'all seem to be loving these unedited just cuts of me fishing. So 
So let me know down in the comments if you want more like this because, I mean, I enjoy doing them. And if you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up so we can pick up the YouTube algorithm and catch them like I talk about. <laughs> That's a freaking... Oh, yeah. Nice one. See, we still got the minnow out there. And we're catching them. <laughs> and that little stabber, guys. Nice one. He ain't a hee-haw, but he gonna be hee-haw in my belly. So we're throwing it out there, about five foot, give or take. We're going. We want this thing to go down to ten foot. I see the fish on the grass. I'm going down there at, you know, around thirteen foot, give or take. And there's some in the ten foot range. And that's all I'm doing. I'm throw I'm literally throwing it out there and I am dead sticking it, guys. Simple, I mean you don't get no more simple than that. Now if you pay close attention, I'm not trying to move my hand, but literally my body shakes. And the way it's shaking is making that jig do the little flutter I'm talking about. And you're able to catch them. I mean, it's unreal. I mean, that's a throwback, but still proves the point. I mean, these fish are down there. They don't want to bite. If they're wanting to bite, that minnow be gone. I mean, they, they can hear that minnow over there fluttering. So I'm gonna throw it out there. Give it two little things. That's about. Well, every time I do that, I, try, I estimate it as like a foot. If y'all didn't understand that from the last video. And this 132 ounce jig head with a little stabber, crappy man green, dingy water, letting it stay in the strike zone, letting my natural movement from my heart and, and my human hands because, you know, got arthritis and stuff from working in a plant most of my teenage years is going to make this fish bite it and you got to have confidence like that guys that, that's if you go out fishing you throw a jig that you ain't got no confidence in you're probably not going to catch that many but if you go out there you know yeah i, I co-own crappy man jigs i know our jigs catch fish yeah that's one thing but before we used to use another brand and we'd go out there and you know we knew that jig would catch them and we caught them it's all about having confidence it's all about finding the fish it's it's a it's a process and sometimes you got to stick here you, i mean i'm sitting here just holding this pole just sitting here this is one of the most boringest ways to fish. You know, I'd rather be popping it up and down like that. I'm not saying that I wouldn't catch one doing that. But dead sticking is how I've gotten all my bites since I've been here. So just like bass fishing, you want to repeat a pattern. Crappy fishing, you want to repeat a cast, do the same thing. If it stops working after 10, 15 minutes, Try something new. Uh, I can guarantee you, n nobody watching this video has seen that bite right there. If you did, let me know down in the comments. So we're gonna go one. Uh, we'll try. We'll try at. I think that's about 11 foot. See, I'll show y'all the graph. See, it's got 16, 15, 15, 15, and then the brush and got one at 17. I want y'all to check this thing out. I got a $120 graph up here. I got a, a big graph in the back. But I, that, that graph right there, don't lie. I mean, if, they, if it's showing a fish, that's probably a fish. So you ain't got to have a bunch of high-priced electronics to go out here and catch these fish. Just have something you're confident with. 
something you've seen a fish on before and you've caught them that's all it takes now if this graph showed a bunch of fish and I never got a bite I probably wouldn't be trusting it at all there he is just dead sticking it nice little chunker right in the roof of the mouth well that was kind of sideways there we go That's the thing about our jigs too, guys. You know, I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit here, but the way we make them, they last a long time. You can keep threading these dang things until they fall apart and still catch them. Oh, all right, we're gonna catch one more, then we're gonna end this video. Like I said, if y'all enjoy these, just me talking, fishing, Showing you what I'm doing. Showing you that it freaking works. I'm not out here bullshitting. Let me know down in the comments. Share this video to people that just now started crappy fishing. Share share the channel. I mean, my whole goal is to catch you more fish. And if I can catch you more fish, why shouldn't I be able to catch everybody else more fish? A lot of people, they want to hide their spots. I mean, you can honestly see where I'm at. There's people watching this video right now like, dang, I know where that dock's at. I'm going to go catch them. By all means, bro, the other two docks that's sitting behind me has been pounded since my last video. And, they're, I mean, the fish has moved. They're not there no more. But you can get out here and find them. You can get out there and find your own spots too if you want. That's all the name of the game with YouTube though. I'm not gonna hide views just to, I don't know, turn the camera way up in the sky and have it look down on me just so you don't know where I'm fishing. That don't make no sense to me. Well, it does make sense to me, but I don't know. Some YouTubers are different. I'm just not that one. All right, Mr. Creppy, where you at? I talked to him, he's like, hee haw, hee haw. Come by my jeep. deep enough this throw or not we'll drop it down I mean <clears throat> that's another thing too like if you ain't confident like right then I was confident for a little bit then I just lost all confidence because I didn't get a bite there for a minute so I'm gonna let out some line and see what happens just keep dead sticking it I popped this thing so much, it is so hard for me to sit here and do this. Which I know it will be for y'all, but I'm telling you guys, look. It freaking works, and that is a, a pretty good one. Yes, sir. We're we going to give him the heat home to send us out. <laughs> nice one. He honk. Oh, he's in the boat. <laughs> like I said, guys, if you haven't already, hit that red button down below. 90% of people that are watching ain't subscribed, and there's no point not to help me out. You know, I'm providing this free content for y'all. Providing a jig. Getting out here, I mean, I'm amazed by all the orders we've been getting. Definitely amazed. I mean, we've, we've gotten orders from... Pretty much across the United States now. So I want to thank all of y'all. 
but uh that's it guys like i said heartbeat we'll catch them this dead stick your bait where it tells you on the graph and pull that two pounder in and take a picture and let me know on facebook and i'll see y'all on the next one yeah